Logan Tower, Cherokee 142 Foxtrot Delta is on runway 15 right, ready for departure. Cherokee 142 Foxtrot Delta, Boston Tower, runway 14, winds 130 at 8, cleared for takeoff. If takeoff, Cherokee 142 Foxtrot Delta. guys welcome back to the channel I had to pause the, uh, the sim there for a second to make sure that my microphone was working because I actually did this flight uh, yesterday and I for whatever reason the microphone was not on and I couldn't use the video so um, anyways I just want to report that I am back in VR here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and everything seems to be working good again. If you've watched the last couple of videos that I posted, I've been having a lot of issues with uh, the simulator. And uh, just give me one second here. I want to make sure I get my destination in here. I'm going to head up to uh, Lawrence Municipal. It's a quick, short flight here. Uh, departing from Boston and it's gonna be heading north um, and yeah so I've been having a lot of issues as of late with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 in VR and I've been trying to figure out what is going on there's been so many stuttering issues and freezing and you know crashes to desktop and pretty much everything you can think of like everything was just going wrong um, and I had tried everything I could possibly think of. I basically, you know, reinstalled the simulator. I uninstalled and reinstalled the NVIDIA drivers. I uninstalled and reinstalled the virtual desktop application. I even, you know, deleted the firmware on my Quest 3 and started from scratch. Literally did everything I could possibly think of and nothing was working. And I kind of narrowed it down to it being an issue with virtual reality, but I couldn't, you know, versus 2D because I did a couple videos in 2D and determined that 2D was working fine. It was mainly virtual reality that was causing the issue. And I had narrowed it down to virtual desktop, there being some sort of conflict with virtual desktop, and I couldn't figure out what it was because I, I tried the Quest Link, and the Quest Link, even though it was a, you know, really bad performance, I've never been able to have good performance with a Quest Link, although I am going to try something new that was suggested to me, uh, but... I basically tried the Quest Link and the Quest, Quest Link did not crash on me, did not freeze on me, everything was fine on that end. So I narrowed it down to being an issue with uh, Virtual Desktop. So I contacted Virtual Desktop and I basically told them my situation, what's going on. And they suggested that I roll back the NVIDIA drivers to uh, 566.36. So basically what I did is I uninstalled, I used the DDU uninstaller, um, uninstalled the NVIDIA drivers and installed the uh, 566.36 driver. I did not go to the most recent one and I have done several flights since then and everything has been working great again. Like everything is smooth they basically told me that apparently because I have a 4080 uh, this is an i9 13900 processor uh, it's got 64 gigabytes of RAM and a NVIDIA RTX 4080 
with 12, gig 12 gigabytes of RAM, uh, VRAM, I should say. Uh, this is a uh, a laptop, but you know I've had pretty good success with it. You know, as far as flying around and uh, getting some decent frame rates. Let's check right now. So I'm at about 60 frames per second, roughly, and I'm in the Boston area using real-time live weather. So that is pretty acceptable to me. It actually feels really nice. Um, and uh, basically what they told me is, I guess the newer drivers are conflicting. They are meant primarily for the, uh, the 5000 series cards and that if, if you have a 4000 series card, it is best to use the 566.36. And guys, I gotta let you know that I have uh, used it. This is what I'm using right now and everything is working great again. I'm back in VR. Everything is feeling great. Everything looks great, and yeah, it feels really nice again. Very smooth. I haven't had any crashes at desktop. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but um, you know, I, I'm gonna go ahead and get my ATIS here really quick. Zero zero five four Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky conditions clear. Temperature one six. Dew point one two. Altimeter three zero one six. Density altitude zero feet. Arriving and departing runways two three three two. Advise on initial contact. You have information uniform. All right. Lawrence, so uniform board information uniform I'll contact them in just a minute but um, yeah everything has been working great and um, as far as my settings everything is pretty much the same as what I had before uh, the only thing I did change just now and this is not something that is really necessary if you guys don't want to do it you don't have to uh, but this is just something I'm testing out. I just wanted to see if it makes any difference at all, if it helps out at all. Uh, but what I did is I changed my DLSS from balanced to auto. And I'm just going to let the, the simulator figure out what it wants to use. And, you know, I just wanted to give it a try and see how that works out. Yeah, so everything looks really nice. Um, it's very smooth again. So if you are having an issue, if you, because I, I, I know there are several people out there I've, I've talked to that are having similar issues to what I'm having, crashes as desktop, freezing, just try that out. Roll back the drivers, because I, I know, for example, like the NVIDIA app, that has been an issue as well. I've completely uninstalled that. Um, but as far as drivers go if you're still having an issue go ahead and roll back try out this you know previous version of 566.36 and see if that helps you out i hope it does it definitely has helped me and like i says i've done several flights since then i've flown in los angeles i've uh, flown in a lot of different you know populated areas and everything was working nice and smooth again so I just wanted to do this updated video. I'm going to contact um, Tower here uh, really quick. Lawrence Tower, Cherokee 142, Foxtrot Delta is about 10 nautical miles to the south, inbound for landing with the uniform. Cherokee 142, Foxtrot Delta, Lawrence Tower, Roger, enter left downwind for runway 32. Report when established in the pattern. We'll enter a left downwind for runway 32 and we'll report when established. Cherokee 142, Foxtrot Delta. All right, left downwind. So, 
would have been nice if I could just go straight in. I'm pretty much on the... Uh, Try to descend here a little bit. But yeah, everything is working good again. If it's nice to be back in VR. Uh, this is, you know, my favorite way of flying just because of the immersion and just how amazing it feels to be. It feels like I'm in the aircraft, like I'm literally sitting in the aircraft flying this thing. But I gotta say that I have taken a liking to. Uh, flying in 2D as well, uh, you know, because I've done it several times since, uh, you know, I've been having the, these issues over the last couple of weeks, and it um, is definitely something that has grown on me, and I like it for other reasons, and I think I'll probably be doing, you know, more videos with that as well, because it's just, um, you know, I like doing it for... The, the, the clarity and the sharpness is definitely better. There's no doubt about it. Unless, of course, maybe if you have a really high-end headset. I have a Quest 3, so the resolution isn't the the best, uh, but... Actually gonna go flaps one. I'm about five nautical miles out. Um, just to kind of start preparing here. And I think I see the runway there. Yeah, this is uh, where I'm originally from. I'm from the Boston area, and um, you know I used to come to this air airport here many times. Um, Lawrence Municipal Airport and um, I used to I think there was a time where I was coming practically every day I would uh, come here and it was it was just like meditation for me I just loved it just to watch all the planes taking off and, and landing and of course I did some flights myself but It's actually, you know, the performance is not the best as far as frame rate goes, but I can definitely work with it. Um, I'll try to adjust my trim here. Yeah, I can definitely work with this, and, and I know I'm in a difficult area. You know, the Boston area is not, not the easiest. I'm just gonna enter my downwind right here. Lawrence Tower, Cherokee 142 Foxtrot Delta, is established on run, uh, left downwind runway 32. Cherokee 2 Foxtrot Delta, wind 010 at 13, runway 32, clear to land. Runway 32, clear to land, Cherokee 142 Foxtrot Delta. Try to focus here because I'm a little bit high. I just went full flaps and okay, fuel pumps on, landing lights are on. bit high here. Not not the best approach. I 
ended it pretty much on the numbers. Can I make it? Oh, I don't know if I can. All right. That was definitely like a... short landing there. Put my flaps up. So yeah, I just uh, wanted to uh, do this video for you guys. And um, you know, like I said, if you're having issues with crashes to desktop and you've tried everything just like I have, give this a shot, see if that helps out. Roll back your drivers. You know, I know they come out with all these new drivers every every couple weeks or whatever, and it's like, I don't always actually see a difference, so I don't see what the point is, honestly. But, you know, if, if an older driver works fine, I'll stick with that. It seems to be working fine at the moment. I still need to do several more flights just to make sure. Um, but so far this is like my third flight and it's really been working pretty well so i hope you guys got something out of this if you did please give it a like hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't done so already and i'll see you all next time take care lawrence brown cherokee 142 foxtrot delta is clear runway 32 need to taxi to general aviation parking cherokee 142 foxtrot delta lawrence ground Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Alpha. Have a good day. We'll taxi to General Aviation Parking via Alpha, Cherokee 142, Foxtrot Delta. Thanks. Yeah, this is where I used to kind of hang out back in the day, like right around this area here. And uh, all right, oh, they got me marshalling in. All right, let's see how that works out. down.